Journey Woman has had a long relationship with the Travel Corporation, with Trafalgar, with Insight. How important is the, the solo travel market to you and, and why? So for me personally, my travel experiences all started out as a solo woman traveler. And so it's always been very near and dear to my heart. I um, That is how I travel really for the first probably 15 years of when I started traveling until I was married and had kids. Um, but for the travel corporation specifically, we see that also as just a trend in the market. And so it's it's not only a personal passion of mine, but it is also good business sense. And so we're seeing a lot of demand for solo travel. We're seeing women who just simply don't want to wait anymore to find somebody who wants to go to the same place that they want to go to at the same time that they're able to go. But at the same time, I do think that, you know, being women, there is that um, we're less secure to go completely independent, if that makes sense. Um, we There are a number of us who would like to have some of the security built in, in terms of the framework of their travels. Um, and there's also a lot of women who are looking for a social interaction. So they're looking to meet other people because I do believe that travel is best when it's shared and it is that shared experience. It's fantastic to be somewhere and experiencing something, but it's even better if you can turn to that person next to you and go, oh, wow, how cool is this? Yeah. So we really are, you know, our trips allow for that and we build that in. So what we've done over the course of the last number of years is we have really stripped back all of the pricing on our single supplements to make sure that if you are traveling as a solo traveler and you are not interested in sharing a room that we're making that as cost effective as possible for you literally making zero money on it is only passing through what we absolutely must in terms of what we're getting charged from hotels etc but we also offer that opportunity for you to choose a roommate actually we choose it for you you just say i want to have a, a roommate and then you'll be paired with somebody else on the trip who also wants to have a roommate. Um, and that takes that whole single supplement out of it completely. And it gives you that sort of built in travel buddy immediately. Um, and then we've also identified a number of our departures, particularly across Trafalgar, where we um, have the bulk of our trips, where there are going to be one or two rooms on those departures, which are single supplement free. So you can travel solo in your own room without any any um, supplement at all. So. Since we've implemented that, and it's only been about, I think about five and a half or six months, we've already seen the percentage of solo travelers on our trips almost double. It's gone up almost 86%. So I think that this is absolutely a key market for us to focus on. And I'm just really excited to be able to bring those opportunities to life for, for solo women travelers. This is the thing. I mean, solo travelers often feel there's two things with group travel. One is do you really, can you really travel and be solo in a group? And I would say that you can, because I've done it walking the Camino. Yeah. Um, and then the second thing is the price and and making sure that it's affordable for solo women to, to join a group tour, which it sounds like you've done a lot of work on. Yeah, I mean, we've done our absolute best. As I mentioned, the only time where it gets tricky is with the hotels and wherever possible, we've stripped it all the way back um, and in many cases, we've just built it into the total cost of the trip so that if a solo traveler is going, the trip itself is paying for that supplement. So yeah. what other things are you doing to make your tours safe and, uh, for women? So all of our trips, you're going to be traveling with a travel director. Um, I, sorry, I should say all of our guided trips. You're traveling with a travel director who are all of them have gone through extensive training. And I would say hand on heart that the travel corporation does the longest most intensive training of any of the guided brands that are out there and that is across whether you are traveling on a Kentucky as a 20 year old or whether you're traveling um, on one of our you know luxury gold products um, and so they're they're very much not only knowledgeable about the places that you're going and they're going to be really fun people to travel with but they're also very knowledgeable in terms of what's happening in those areas, making sure that you're prepared if you're going out into the city and they know that this is a particular part of town that's known for having pickpockets, they're gonna let you know that so that you can be aware of your surroundings, that kind of thing. And they do it in a way that's not going to scare our guests, it's just going to inform them so that they can be aware. Um, they're also absolutely um, trained to deal with any situations that might come up so that they can um, assist, whether it be with emotional support or um physical support uh yeah. that kind of thing 
we also, during um, the pandemic, had instituted what we call well-being directors. So this is a second um, staff member who is either traveling on the coach, depending on the itinerary, or they're based in hubs around the destinations that we go to. And they're really there to facilitate. Let's say you are traveling on your own and you do come down with COVID. They're there to make sure that um, you are able to get accommodation if you need to isolate. Um, they're going to help facilitate getting any tests so that you can get home, et cetera. And so that's really nice to have is that sort of backstop and security that, you know, you may be in a foreign country and you may be sick and, you know, maybe not even have any symptoms, but you have to isolate. But it's nice to know that there's somebody there that you can ask questions to that can help facilitate. So, I mean, from a safety and security standpoint, I feel like just having those people there with you is really beneficial. Yeah, having, I mean, having traveled early last summer, I definitely felt that anxiety of the getting the testing and what if, what if. Exactly. Uh, I had a little bit of a cold at the time. It wasn't COVID, but there's, there is anxiety around the trip home, especially when you have to produce some kind of uh, negative test to travel as well. So, yeah, for sure. although fortunately it seems like that is starting to, um, starting to uh, slow down a little bit. Now yeah. we just have a lot of long lines, but we yes. can deal with that, right? We can deal with lines. So, uh, what um, what tours would you suggest for women this year for solo women? Which ones are you most excited about? Well, there's lots of things I would recommend. First of all, we also launched um, new women's only trips for both Trafalgar and Insight, and so. I would definitely recommend one of those if you're looking to travel with women only. And with Trafalgar, we've got 13 different itineraries that we have identified. They're existing itineraries, but we've taken specific departures and said these are women only. So you could be going solo, you could be going with a group of girlfriends, you could be going with your daughter, your niece, your mom, whatever it happens to be. Um, and these are going to be led by a woman travel director. They'll have a woman um, well-being director. But the other thing that they do is these trips were picked because they are supporting women-owned businesses and experiences in the places that we go. I so, love that. Yeah. So whether that is, you know, going to our women's initiative in uh, Jordan, the Iraq Al-Amir, whether you're visiting Marta, who's a weaver in Tuscany, these are great ways to get out, experience the world, support women owned, women run businesses and travel with other adventurous women. We do the same thing with Insight, only these are custom itineraries. So they were built specifically for this and they each include a minimum of three, what we call make travel matter experiences where we are giving back to the community and all of those experiences are also women run. You are in charge of seven brands at the Travel Corporation. I mean, it's an enormous, enormous job. How would you differentiate a little bit between Insight or Trafalgar or Luxury Gold? What do women need to know in terms of the experience for each? Absolutely. If you are traveling with Trafalgar, you're going to be traveling with a group of probably, well, it depends on where you are in the world, but anywhere between probably 35 and 45 people. Um, our trip sizes go up to 50, um, but the average size is generally around 45. Uh, they are going to hit all of the iconic sites. Um, we do have trips that do multi-country as well as we do have regional trips. So you could uh, just do one country or one region if you were looking to do that. And they're great for people who are looking for introductions into um, the places that they're going to and they really want to have in-depth local experiences. So we offer with Trafalgar something that we call Be My Guest where we actually go into a local's home or business, but we don't go in, let's, let's say it was their business as anybody else would, we would go in sort of behind the scenes um, and they would actually cook a meal for us or prepare a meal for us and we would break bread with them, which I can't think of any better way to get to know a destination than sharing a meal with somebody who's who's from yeah. that place. Um, so but these are these are good for like a first time solo traveler might look at a Trafalgar tour. They're affordable. Yes, they are. They're very affordable. Um, I wouldn't say they're budget, but they're definitely great value for money. And there's also some free time built in. So you're going to have time if you want to go off and do your own thing that you can oh, do that. Um, there are optionals that you can um, 
add on to your trip if you want to do that while you're traveling if you want to stay with the group but let's say you don't let's say you're in venice and you want to go shoe shopping great go do that um but if you want to take a trip to burano and check out you know the beautiful colorful buildings and have a great seafood meal then that's an option that we provide so i would say trafalgar is a great mix of free time fantastic local included experiences. You're gonna tick off all of your bucket list items, but we're still gonna introduce you to some really cool um, secondary destinations. Inside is a smaller group experience. So if you're looking for a little bit more room on the coach, if you're looking for a slightly smaller group, the maximum group size with um, Insight is 20% less than Trafalgar, so it's 40, but we usually average about 30. So it's mm -hmm. a smaller, more intimate group, meaning we can have smaller, more intimate um, restaurant reservations. Um, we're going to have more meals in those local restaurants. There are still dine with local experiences that are included. I think the biggest difference with Insight is that there is a lot more that's included. So there's a lot less um, optionals that you're going to be adding on while you travel. Um, that also means there's a little bit less free time. But if you're one of those people that really wants to make sure that you see everything, um, Insight is a fantastic option for you. They're also going to be a slightly higher category of hotels. So if you're somebody who really right. enjoys your creature comforts, um, that is a really nice um, thing to have with Insight. And they're going to also be slightly more central. So Venice was an example that I just gave. With Trafalgar, you might be staying in Lido, which is going to be a water taxi away from Venice, where if you go with Insight, you're going to be staying right on the island of Venice. So right. kind of depends on what you want. If you want to go luxury gold, you're talking Michelin star restaurants. You're talking a much smaller groups. Group size maxes out at 24. Um, you're going to be staying in five star properties the whole way. Um, it is really a indulgent way to experience a destination. Um, you're going to have traveling concierges with you versus just a travel director. I say just, they're all amazing, but they're going to yeah. really be there to cater and make sure that you have that individualized experience. And something that people may not know about the Travel Corporation is it's been around for over a hundred years. Could you share a bit of the history of how it started? Absolutely. Yeah, we've, uh, we celebrated our hundred year uh, anniversary in 2020, again, in the middle of a pandemic. So we're going on 103 years. We uh, were started by a gentleman called Solomon Tolman. Uh, and he had a single hotel property in South Africa. His son, Stanley Tolman, um, and his wife, Bia, when they got married, they took all of their wedding funds and they invested in a small hotel in Johannesburg. So we started in this, you know, with Solomon, with his tiny little hotel in a fishing village um, in South Africa. But his son, really, Stanley, is the one who started our company. Um, in, on the path that it is at today. Trafalgar was the first one that they purchased. Um, Trafalgar's been around for about 75 years, going on 76. Uh, and that was the first uh, guided vacation company that they purchased. And that was really the beginning of the Travel Corporation. Not only did Mr. and Mrs. Tolman start our business, but the family, the Tolman family is still incredibly um, involved in the day-to-day -day running. So they're not only our owners, they are our managers. Um, I report to two Tolmans, um, so <laughs> they're involved in <laughs> all of the day-to-day -day and they are incredibly passionate, not only about the guests, but about us as their employees. And so it is a, a really phenomenal place to work. I feel very privileged um, and I feel very um, honored that they've given me so much uh, responsibility with the seven brands that I run. Well, I have to say that my experience with uh, the Travel Corporation family, and I do think it is a family, has been really positive since I took over Journey Woman, and um, everyone's so accessible and so friendly, and that's one of the reasons that, that I'm so pleased that we're reinvigorating our partnership. And I remember when um, International Women's Day in, I guess it was 2020, possibly, I guess, uh, here in Toronto, there was just a lovely memorial for Evelyn Hannon, who was the founder of Journey Woman. And that was a really special moment uh, for me and for her family to be kind of recognized as part of your company celebration. So, um, so I think there is something very special about being family owned and being driven by service and 
um, which is why, I, again, I'm just thrilled that we're that we're working together to help empower women and help women live the life of their dreams and all the things that solo travel can bring to our lives. So thank you for your time today and uh, more to come, right? Absolutely. More to come. We're very excited. Thanks so much for having me today.